You know, when I was growing up, I feel like I had a wonderful childhood. I feel like I had many opportunities. I traveled lots and lots of places. And with that being said, I was a little bit overprotected. But even with the great and wonderful childhood, that didn't exempt me, even at that age, from suffering and from pain. And by that, what I mean is I was molested as a teenager. I was um, raped in a date rape situation and even then a couple of years later I watched who's now my nephew struggle for his life in a battle against leukemia and even now um, a very good friend of mine she has had to help her daughter go through many many tests to find out if she was going to be battling for her life and what would also be a terminally ill disease and I think about those things I just think about the enormous amount of pain and suffering that regardless of how great and how protected we are growing up and even as adults that we all still endure you have your own types of sufferings that you've been through and that poses the question that if God is really all good if he's all-knowing if he really loves us then why hasn't Jesus returned so that all of this suffering and pain could be ended and with that it it makes me think about a verse that I read a couple of months ago it's second Peter chapter 3 verse 9 and it says the Lord does not delay in his promise as some understand delay but he's patient with you and me not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. And I, I think about that verse, and what I think about is how I want to have that kind of love and that kind of patience with all of the people around me. And I think about, too, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah in Genesis 18. Abraham and the Lord are having this conversation. And what happens is the Lord sees the wickedness and the sin that is in this city. And he says, I'm going to destroy it. And, and Abraham says, what if I can find 50 people, God, 50 people that love you, that want to worship you, that, that want to grow and get to know you. And he says, if you can find 50 righteous people, then I will spare the city. So Abraham thinks about it. He looks and he says, well, what about 45? If I can just find 45. And God says, if you can find 45, I will not destroy the city. Then Abraham says, well, what about 40? Then 30? Then 10? If I can find 10, will you save this city? And God says, yes, I will, but not one person could be found. So God destroyed the entire city. And I think about that, and I think about how, how much of an encouragement that is to me, just to think about and process the fact that there are people all around us who want to know the Lord, who want to grow in their relationship with the Lord, and that's why Jesus has not returned, because there are still people who are out there right here in our town, probably some of my next door neighbors, that want to know Jesus and who he is and know his saving grace. And so it, it makes me think about the urgency that I lack in my life for winning souls for the Lord. And it makes me think about something that I wrote down here when I read this verse a couple of months ago. And this is what it says. The sooner believers share Christ, the sooner he will return.